Here's the full count offering. Pedroia now at second. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow! Matt Holliday will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three-run home run. Driven down the left field line. Will it stay fair? No, a little too much hook on it there. It's a foul ball. The one-two. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Alan Craig will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. And opposite field as he lines this down the line in right. And this is a fair ball as it'll head toward the pesky pole in right. Matt Adams will stride in, and they'll need to be careful as he's already homered twice thus far. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Cards leave one, and they hold a 7-0 lead. Will Middlebrooks will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Good action on the sinker, one and two. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. He'll try again, one, two. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Well, this is one of those situations where his guys got him the lead early on, and he's been in complete control ever since. I mean, he's barely been threatened out there. Jackie Bradley Jr. will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Now the three and two pitch. And they are still hitless, but at least they'll have a base runner here. It's ball four. Shane Victorino will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole to Ellis for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Well, that's always going to be a tough turn out there. This guy runs really well, so no chance to double him up, but they'll settle for getting that lead runner at second. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. Now a high bouncer toward the hole, and an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. Seventh inning upon us with the Cardinals out on top, and it's time to check out the game summary to see how we got here. Burke Badenhop will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Now the payoff pitch home. This is sharply hit back up the middle, and the leadoff man is going to reach here. He's got a base hit. Shane Robinson will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. Shane Robinson. Ah, gets under the fastball there and pops this one up. This is just beyond the infield on the right side. Victorino has the best view of this one, so he'll take it for the first out. Mark Ellis will get another crack, one for three thus far. Swinging a hard liner to center field, and that's in there, base hit. You talk about getting the bat head out in front. <laughs> this is rifled up the middle. Can't square up a baseball any better than that. 
Peter Borges will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. Pedroia on to Napoli, and they get two here to get him out of the inning. Your basic 6 4 3 will get him out of danger. More from Boston after this. Dustin Pedroia will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. The 1 2 from Wainwright. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. And you know, this is what the good ones do. They can wait you out up there. They sort of foul pitches off. They take pitches. They make the pitcher come to you. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Oh, I think he'd be real happy with a leadoff walk. Something just to get things started against this guy. And they are still hitless, but at least they'll have a base runner here. It's ball four. David Ortiz will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. And that's through for a base hit. And the no-hitter is gone. Throw comes back in quickly, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. Mike Napoli will stand in, and maybe a ray of hope as they get the first two men aboard here. This crowd's just itching for something to put their hands together about. The positive moments, they've been few and far between, but they're not out of this game. Now, they've got some guys in this lineup that can make this deficit go away. Sander Bogarts. Will have a shot to do some damage, but he can't get them all back, so he needs to just get on base here. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Put one in the bleachers. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Oh, that's a tough take, but a good one. The pressure's still squarely on the pitcher out there. He's still got to come in. Here now the 2-2. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strikeout of the game. Well, you know he's going to be happy to finally come away with that strikeout. But he's so deep into the start right now, you hate to burn through that many pitches on one hitter as he did right there. Those at-bats, they seem to take a little bit more energy out of you later in the game than maybe back in the first or second inning. A.J. Pierzynski will step in, a ground-out victim his last time. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Come on, guys. Need a base hit here. Swing and a ground ball to first. Peralta for one. On to first. It's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Matt Carpenter will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Here comes the 3-1. And this is fouled back and out of play. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. And that will find the seats. A home run. Johnny Peralta will stride in. Grounded out his last time through.
fouled back. Get right free here. Swing and a ball hits softly on the ground. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Matt Holliday will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. Alan Craig will dig in. He singled his last time around. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Well hit high in the air and deep to center field. Bradley will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Cards get a run courtesy of Matt Carpenter. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Cardinals eight. Will Middlebrooks will stand in to start out their half of the eighth with that starter still out there and he's definitely been a tough nut to crack. No, he's been dominant all game long and I think part of it is that he got himself a nice lead early on. And that's allowed him to not really worry about making a mistake. He's been free and easy the whole way through. Fouled straight back. Here he comes again, one, two. Swing and a line drive, but this will be foul. And a pitch swung on and bounced to Peralta at short. And Peralta's throw is in time for route number one. Yeah, he just keeps rolling right along. It's shut out and tacked as you get a look at his line so far. Through seven and a third innings now, they've just not been able to mount any type of offense against him at all. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. And a good job here of making him throw a lot of pitches. He probably doesn't have a whole lot left in the tank, so the more you make him work, the better your chances of getting a mistake. Down the line, but this will kick foul. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. The next three, two. Swing hard liner to left center. And a leap at short, but it's over his glove, and it could be extra bases. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, this is quickly becoming a situation where you'd like your guy to hit the complete game, but you know, once you get into that 115, 120 range, you have to be concerned. Swing, and he pops him up behind the bag at second. And Ellis will make the play here for route number two. Time to take a look at our starter comparison to this point, and the telling numbers can be found on the left side of your screen. Zeros in the run and earned run columns. Daniel Nava will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. A golden opportunity to get on the board. Here goes for naught. We return to Fenway Park after this. Junichi Tazawa will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Matt Adams.